A lot of Amazon FBA sellers ask me, Tamara, why is my Amazon PPC A cost so high? Well, today is your lucky day because I am going to show you how to lower that A cost right away. Okay guys, today I am going to show you some quick ways how you can drop your ACOS right away. If you are an Amazon FBA seller right now and you are suffering from that very frustrating high ACOS, then stick around, this video is for you. Now the very first thing you can start doing right now is to lower your keyword bid. I want to be very clear, and that is if you lower your keyword bid too much, you are also going to decrease the amount of impressions that you get. If you decrease your impressions too much, guess what? Nobody will see your ad, therefore nobody can see your product, add your product to cart, check out, and pay you. So you don't want that. But let's use an example right here. So this is my dummy broad manual PPC campaign. Now, as you can see, there are some keyword bids right here. Now, I don't know how much you guys are bidding. You guys are all selling different products. You are all at different stages of your product launch, whatever it is. But if you lower your bid right away, I can almost guarantee you that your ACoS will also lower. If you are very fixated on lowering your ACoS right now, then this is what you need to do. So for this keyword, for example, Amazon suggested 68 cents right here for this specific keyword. Now, if you are already bidding this suggested bid, let's say your bid right now is 68 cents, but your A cost is really high, it's not something that you want, then all you would do is decrease this bid slightly lower than what they are suggesting right here. So the lowest bid that they suggest is 51 cents, maybe you will bid 41 cents. Just so you know, there's no specific rule as to how much you should lower your keyword bid. All I know is that you should lower your bid lower than the lowest suggested bid if you want to drop your ACoS right away. But if you drop your bid right here to something like 11 cents, then I can say that you are not going to get any impressions. You may get one or two impressions or none at all. And if you get very little impressions, we are going to go back to the theory where nobody is going to see your ad, therefore nobody can click on your ad, add your product to cart, and pay you. So you don't want to lower it too much, but you want to lower it lower than the suggested bid. So let's just say this one is 41 cents. You can also test this by lowering it to 31 cents or whatever it is, test it, but what you can do right now is to drop that bid. So this one is 49 cents, maybe I will bid 39 cents. So start doing this and run your campaign again and let me know in the comment section below if that has helped you because this will drop your A cost tremendously since you are not bidding aggressively, but you have to find that sweet spot somewhere where um, you're not losing too many impressions. Now, the second thing you can do to lower your A cost right now is to choose longer tail keywords from your advertising report choose longer tail keywords. So if I take out my dummy search term report right here, we are just quickly going to look at the A cost right here. So I sorted this A cost from small to big, so we know exactly which keywords are giving us that super low A cost. So let's just pretend that everything below 30% is what we want to look at. So for your A cost, you guys already know that you should be aiming below your profit margin percent as a targeted A cost so you don't lose any money. But sometimes you will have to have a lower A cost if you are just starting out any new campaign. That will be a different topic for another day. So right here, we have some longer tail keywords that we can work with that will give us that low A cost. So if you found any longer tail keywords right here, 
um, and you want to rank these keywords closer to page one, only focusing on these keywords, then what I would do is quickly grab these keywords, copy and paste them into a manual exact PPC campaign. What that will do is only focus on these keywords that are exactly these keywords. And since it resulted in a low A cost here, chances are it may result in a low A cost from an exact match campaign. You want to build an exact match campaign with the suggested bid that Amazon is giving you. So another way to choose these keywords that will sort of almost guarantee you a lower A cost is to make sure that these keywords have converted more than one sale. So right here, let me give you an example. So right here we have one click, we made a sale that was $12.95 and I only spent 40 cents on it. My A cost is 3%. It would be much more ideal if let's say we had more clicks and more sales. So for example, if we had more than one click right here and say we made a few sales right here, then that kind of tells us that, okay, this keyword shark tooth ring for kids, customers are really liking this keyword. And since you have more than one sale, it kind of gives you that level of comfort that, okay, this is more likely to convert in an exact manual PPC campaign. So that's what you should be doing. Focus on the longer tail keywords with the lower A costs with more sales if possible. The third way to lower your A cost is to focus on automatic campaigns only. Now, if you do want to launch your product, I am sorry to say you do have to build a manual PPC campaign because they are more targeted. But if you only want to drop your A cost right now, then I would only focus on running an automatic PPC campaign and then optimizing all of that data to the fullest. When I say optimizing the automatic PPC campaign data to the fullest, what I mean is pulling out keywords that have converted with a super low A cost. So similar to what we are doing right now, if this was my automatic campaign and I see all these keywords giving me a super low A cost, I would focus on gathering more sales so that way the keywords have proven more to you that these keywords convert into sales before moving it into a manual campaign. Manual campaigns typically will have a higher A cost because you are choosing your own keywords. Now, if we were to spend more time in our automatic campaign and really wait until we gather more converting keywords and optimizing bad keywords, um, if we were to choose any of the bad keywords here that we are spending money on and not making a sales and moving any of the keywords into the negative that don't make sense, then we will have that super low A cost. So PPC optimization is huge. I'm sure you guys who have been following me on Instagram, I say this almost every single day, you have to learn how to properly optimize. If you don't know how to optimize, you can say goodbye to low A cost. So that's what I would do. I would just spend more time in automatic instead of manual and focus on manual campaigns later when you find the super low A cost keywords from your automatic PPC campaign. If you guys are on a budget, and I know a lot of you guys are, because let's face it, Amazon FBA is not a super cheap business to start, you can focus on only automatic campaigns for a longer period of time until you feel very comfortable with uh, building a manual campaign. Because once you start your manual campaigns, guess what? You need to fund your broad phrase and exact match campaigns. If you guys are enjoying this video right now, please help me give this video a huge thumbs up subscribe to my channel and make sure you hit the notification bell so you can get notified every single time I post amazing videos on YouTube. So the fourth way to lower your A cost is to start putting ASINs into the negative. So I think it was a few weeks ago or a few months ago, I'm losing track of time. But anyway, not too long ago, Amazon released a new feature and now you are able to put ASINs into the negative. For those of you who have been selling on Amazon for a long time now, you know how frustrating it is when you see a ton of ASINs in your search term reports and they are just not making you any sales. Let me pull up my automatic PPC campaign so I can show you an example. 
So this is my dummy automatic PPC campaign data. And this ASIN right here, let's take this one as an example. If this ASIN has a high ACOS, let's pretend this ACOS is not 22%. Let's pretend this is 50%. For example, if it's 50% and your profit margin is lower than that, then you are losing money because your ACOS is much higher. You should be putting all of these ASINs that have a high ACOS into the negative. I made this YouTube video right here before where I talked about how to put ASINs into the negative and how you should be optimizing this ASIN data. Make sure you watch that video because I am not going to go over every single little step in today's video. But that's what you need to do. You need to start putting bad converting ASINs into the negative. If you just leave the ASINs there and you don't do anything about it, this is costing you a lot of money. This cost me $6.64. And look at how many ASINs there are. If I were to just leave these ASINs here and not do anything with it, and my A cost is high, then most of my daily budget is going towards these bad converting ASINs, and therefore you will just never win with your PPC campaigns. You will constantly just burn a hole in your wallet because, well, you're just leaving these ASINs here that are eating up all of your ad spend. The last thing you can do to lower your A cost right away is to start a product targeting campaign. Now again, we are only focused on lowering our ACoS right now, right? We are not talking about launching strategies or uh, PPC maintenance strategies. We are not talking about that in today's video. We are just strictly trying to lower our ACoS. So if that is what you are trying to do, then you need to start a product targeting campaign. So if we go back to this report right here, let's use this example. And right here we have some pretty nice low A cost, right? I mean, this is very nice A cost below 10%, which means I am profiting. So all of these ASINs right here that have made you sales with a super low A cost, you can put this into a product targeting campaign to target these ASINs so your ad will show up in this seller's product listing. So all you do is go into Seller Central Campaign Manager, create a campaign, and I'm sure a lot of you guys already know this step, but you want to click on Manual Targeting, go to Dynamic Bids Down Only, or Fixed Bids. I only used Dynamic Bids Down Only or Fixed Bids, I explained this in my advanced PPC course if you guys um, want to refer back to that, but there are some rules here why you would select dynamic bids down only or fixed bids or dynamic bids up and down. Then you would name your ad group. We won't go into detail here because I'm sure a lot of you guys already know what to do. Enter your product and then targeting, click on product targeting. So right here is where you will drop all of the ASINs that have converted really well with a low ACoS. Drop them all in here by clicking on individual products and enter list, enter all of the ASINs, click on target, and then run this campaign. Of course, you have to go back into Seller Central after you create this campaign and optimize the data later. Don't forget that. You guys still have to check out the optimization for your product targeting campaign and see which ones are working, which ones are not, which has a high A cost. Um, just because you find ASINs from your automatic campaign that converted really well in your automatic campaign does not guarantee that it will convert well in your product targeting campaign. It's just worth the shot because like I said earlier, as long as it converted into a few sales, then chances are you have a higher likelihood that these ASINs will convert in your product targeting campaign. So I hope this video has helped you lower your ACoS. There are many other ways to lower your ACoS if you are only fixated on lowering your ACoS. If you want to learn more advanced PPC strategies, I will link my PPC course in the description and comment section below of this video. Thanks for joining me today, you guys. I will see you in my next video.